All right, guys, let's do this here. Um, all right, today in class, my uh, tech design rotation for grade nine, we were working on our research uh, in terms of creating uh, for the Futuristic Cities project, which you can see this is the end result, which I've kind of recorded um, a number of tutorials to show you how to get to this using 3ds Max. Uh, this was the second page of the vistas, nice close-up shots of within the city. And we're working, uh, since this is a new rotation, I may as well add on my intro to Photoshop lessons, okay? Basic image composition. So, how, what do we do today? So, it's a recap. Simply, we use about three tools. We file placed images, we resize them, and it's a free transform tool. It's Command T or Control T, somewhere around here. Uh, adjustments, there we go. And, uh, no, not there. Going, going, going. Where is it? I'm under edit. Sorry, it's under edit. Here we go. Free transform. Bingo. And just, I've been using this hotkey for about 20 years now, so it hasn't changed. Command T or Control T on a Windows station. And that's how we sized the images, and we held shift doing that. Okay, and we also held op Alt or Option to duplicate things. So, um, we will do this from zero, okay? We'll start a new document in Photoshop, File New. And we're going with, um, let's go 17 by 11 tabloid and I said 100 megs and like before sorry 100 pixels per inch and you can see already 5 megs without even um, placing anything in the in the document I'll just go uh, Balian here name it right away uh, research and this is part of my page 01 okay and then this next stage will be your sketches and so on and then third page will be your futuristic city shot which is here this will be page three, and this will be, uh, the next one will be page four. Okay, that's it. That's where we're going right now, okay? All right, let's make this short and sweet. So first thing first, we did research, so I'm just going to go to File, Place, as opposed to Import or Export or anything else like that, File, Place. And I'm just going to go to my desktop right now, quickly, Futuristic Cities, and let's look at our shots. Okay, sometimes uh, if you're using a Mac or a PC, you can just come in here. Um, you can see it in doc format. Okay, and where am I here? Uh, what just happened here? There we go, futuristic city. I'm going blind. All right, but I like this one in, on, a, on a Mac because I can see the images that I do like. So these are one of the shots that I like, so I might as well place this one. Okay, notice that it's nice and large in terms of right, large resolution. Press return to accept or enter. Okay, one of the first thing I asked you guys to do is, gear, uh, is rasterize. So let's make a um, let's disconnect the relation to the original image. So we'll go and rasterize layer. Boom. And to do this, you, you need to click on the blue space or the word of the image. Okay, rasterize layer. Done. So now it's its own uh, image. Command T or Control T. And the rule I said for you guys, always, always, always hold shift. Otherwise, you're going to be doing this. You're going to be doing, a, um, <clears throat> as I called it, part of me, squash and stretch. Okay. Uh, Command Z. There it is. So Control T or Command T to resize, hold Shift from the corner, bingo, resize. Okay, we did that today. I might as well just do the intro lesson for you guys. Um, here's what we did today. The intro lesson was simply bring one picture in, resize it, press Return or Enter. Hold Option to duplicate, okay, right here. And Command T to resize or Control T. And there's number two, Enter. Notice at this point um, we have one and copy. So I'm just going to double click and call this um, number two. Enter. Okay, now if I right click on each image, uh, Photoshop is smart enough to tell me which image I'm selecting. So for example, that's image one, and I can move it, Command Z to bring it back. So I'll right click on this, and there's image two, so I can move that, Command Z to bring it back. At this point, what I want to do is right click on this one and make sure it's selected, hold Alt or Option, and look at that two arrows. See here? Black and white. So that basically means duplicate. So we duplicated it. We're moving it somewhere over here. And done. Once we duplicate it, let's go to Command T or Control T and hold Shift and resize that. Okay, so we did something like this today to start us off. So guys, there's not much that's required to make things interesting, okay? So um, why don't I just leave it here? And Command T again. And we're gonna make this even smaller. All right, we did something like this in class to start off. So we have four images, and notice how Photoshop 1, 2, 3, and 4 are selected. Click out. Always, always, once you finish a task, always come back to the arrow tool, which is really a select tool, or V is the hotkey. Okay, so right-click, boom. 
I can move this one. Pardon me. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we're just moving this aside. Right click on this one. Photoshop tells me that's number two. Cool, I can move it. And notice that number two is right there. If I right click on this one, oh, copy two, two copy two, right there. That's selected. I can move that. Okay, just like that. And another thing, let's just show you this as well. Slide it over. You notice that if we do press Command T or Control T, if I hover to the corner, I have a rotate tool. If I press Shift at the end, aligns it. So there you go. I've got another image. And let me just hold Shift and resize this one. And I'll bring it down over here just for fun. Okay, press Enter. How's that? Pretty cool. So this is just the um, free transform tool. Um, we duplicate it by holding Option. And uh, we rename by clicking on the layer. So if you, for example, if you want to right click on this one, number two, if I want to press on the eyeball, hide, show, hide, show. Very simple. Okay, guys, again, thank you very much. Let me just shut this early. I'll continue in the next one. Thank you. Belly it out.